Determine the value of x for which the matrix with components 3x, 2, and 4 is singular. Now here's a concept. A matrix is singular if its determinant is equal to 0. Let's look at matrix A with components A, B, C, and D. If we want to find the determinant of matrix A, we'll multiply A by D, which give us AD, or A times D, minus B times C. Now, A is singular. If When we work out this, we actually get 0. If matrix A is singular. So the determinant of matrix A is equal to 0 if matrix A is singular. So let's look at this matrix. We're told that it's singular, which means that when we work out its determinant, we will get 0. So we're going to multiply 3 times 4 and subtract x times 2, which give us 2 times x, and we will get 0 when we work it out, when we work out the determinant, that is. So 3 fourths, that's 12, 2 times x, that's 2x, which is equal to 0. Now, we, we, in order for us to solve 4x, we can isolate the x. So we can transpose the 12, that leaves us with negative 2x equals negative 12. That is, we subtract 12 from this side and subtract 12 from this side. So we have negative 2x equals 0 minus 12 is negative 12. Or we can think of it as transposing from positive 12 to the other side as negative 12. Okay, now that you get up to this step, we want to isolate x. Now negative 2 is multiplying x. So to isolate it, we will divide by its coefficient, but on both sides. So negative 2 into itself give us 1. So that's 1x. Negative into negative is positive, and 2 into 12 goes 6 times. So x is actually equal to 6. So the value of x is 6 that will make this matrix singular. Let's check though. So if we have the matrix 3 and where x is 6, we have 2, 4. If we were to work out the determinant of this matrix, we should get 0. Let's try. 3 times 4, that's 12. Then minus 6 times 2, that's 12. And 12 minus 12 is indeed 0. So the determinant of this particular matrix is equal to zero, which means it's a singular matrix. But we just found the value of x that will make this matrix actually singular.